Hi everyone, how's it going? Listen, there's a doom pile right over there. Hang on. <laughs> a fucking doom pile. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been trying to clean all morning. And I emphasize trying to clean because like when you have ADHD brain, it you know, it takes a while for you to do. So I've just been relaxing and doing my little thing and it, the next few days, the last few days have been weird. It's just been very, it's weird because I've had, <laughs> I haven't been like entirely well, but I've, I've been calm, if that makes sense. I've been very, very calm and very steady. And even today, like I was just really, really relaxed and, you know, and everything was, seemed to be really good. It seemed to be really good, like internally. And, um, you know, the only thing was, is that I was tired, quite tired for like a couple of days. That's the only thing. But, uh, you know, apart from that, I'm actually good. Um, first of all, how are my fellow TIs doing? I hope you guys are doing OK. Um, you know, today's beautiful outside. I haven't been outside, but it's actually beautiful. Went out there to do the bins. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been all right. So I hope you... My fellow TIs are okay. I actually came online to talk about my perps because I think, well, I, I don't even think, I know that's what they wanted. They wanted an online rant, so they're getting one. My thing is, is that I took the bins out and as usual, the perps upstairs, they did this fake laughter thing because they, you know, they either they mimic me in some way to try to create a noise pollution sort of thing because um, the thing with perps is that is that they mimic you. The purpose of street theatre is to influence your behaviour. So say, for instance, I have a certain way that I walk, right? They imitate the, the same way that I walk. So the way it works is this. I'm walking along the street, right? I'm walking, 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 walking. And they have the same gait as me. They have the same stance as me. But in order to influence me to trip up, what they'll do is they will, they'll act as if they're tripping up and they'll do it, they'll, they'll do it just enough and they will catch themselves just in time not to fall over. Meanwhile, I've fallen over. Now that's never happened to me, but that is an example of NLP. That's another reason why you're being mimicked. It's a part of PSYOPs, right? I don't think that particular brand of manipulation was what was going on here. I think it was just one of those things where the purpose of mimicking me is to try to like mock me or something. But I have no idea what they're mocking, laughing and singing and what. Well, like, what is there to mock? There's nothing to, there's nothing to mock. So like... When I heard the perps upstairs basically laughing and, and, you know, in order to try and get a reaction, fake laughing, because they're not happy. They haven't been happy in months. Um, so when they were fake laughing to try and get a reaction, I ignored it. I wouldn't have said anything. I would not have said a, a goddamn thing, right? If I hadn't heard a young kid from upstairs saying, why are you trying to make the black lady angry? How young is that kid? And you're influencing them with this bullshit? Look, I've called children the C word multiple times. Not even just these children. I've called children the C word before. And the truth of the matter is, right, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it all the way real. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed that I called them the C word. Not at all, not at all, because at the end of the day, I understand what the end objective of doing all of the, I, I understand what doing all of this to me is for. So I can't feel sorry for you if you're a perp. Child or adult, I cannot feel sorry for you. And I'm not, I'm not excusing you because at the end of the day, you made the choice to join something that you didn't understand in a bid to impress your parents. I don't have to give you that empathy. I really don't. So I don't feel bad for using the C word with, you know, with regards to calling certain kids out. So I'm not saying this from a place of moral superiority. I'm not saying this from a place of being better than someone. But my thing is this. 
the thing that I find heartbreaking is that even in the most abusive households, I found that you are taught, don't start shit, there won't be no shit. Me, I was raised by wolves. I was raised by wolves. I did not have a good upbringing. I wasn't taught well. But the one thing that I was taught was don't start no shit, won't be none. That's the one thing I was taught. Like I said, I, like I said, I did not have a good upbringing. I did not have good parents. I did not have good elders. But that's the one thing that I was taught. That's the one thing that they taught me. Don't start no shit, won't be no shit. These kids up here are not even being taught that. They're being taught it's perfectly okay to gang stalk somebody. It's perfectly okay to lie. It's perfectly okay to throw your own family under the bus if necessary. That motherfucker upstairs talking about family is family. And yet when the cops come over, who is the, who are the first people that get the blame for what's going on? The children. My thing is this, right? Other adults want to call me ugly and shit like that for calling kids the C word. And yet you have no problem throwing children under the bus. You, you also, oh, they're, they're only kids. Of the, the, but you will throw them under the bus on the, at the first opportunity. That's A. B, you are engaging them in behavior that is ruining their lives. They can't sleep. They can't sleep. They are fucking racked with shame over the shit that you allowed them to do. They're racked with fucking shame constantly. And now you've got another young person up there asking, why are you doing this? Because they don't understand. And if all they're being taught with you is that if we, if there are people different to us or there are people we don't like, we bully them even though they're doing nothing. What are you teaching those young children? For real, what are you teaching them? Everybody's getting at me and, you know, and, and giving me stare downs. Like, for what? What are you fucking teaching them? What are you teaching them? You're not teaching them anything. Sorry, this is really creased. This is atrocious. I should have ironed this shit. But what the fuck are you teaching them? What are you teaching these the, the future generations? And again, let's keep it a buck. When it comes to children, my behavior hasn't been great either. It takes a village to raise children. I'm part of that village, whether those children like me or not. I'm part of that village. And I haven't made things easier. I, I, I mean, I, I have no intention of making things easier. I have no intention of doing that. But at the end of the day, let's keep it a buck. I'm not morally superior here. I get it. But at the end of the day, right, I'm not teaching these motherfuckers to fucking, you know, just gang stalk people or gaslight people or lie to people. I'm not teaching them to be cowards. I'm not teaching them to be bullies. I'm not ruining their fucking lives. It's their parents doing that. It's their elders doing that. It's their community doing that. Because they will indulge these children in their bullshit. And the, as bad as the children are, the adults are worse. How the fuck are you going to tell your children to knock it on the head every single time these children take it too far? And yet at the first opportunity, when you feel like you're not getting a reaction and you feel like you're not getting the results you want, you're going to go right back to doing the same thing that you told those children not to do. What are they supposed to take away from that? And as for this whole thing about contaminating stuff and, and stuff like that, again, that, that's, the, that's the thought you put in their heads, regardless of whether or not they're, they're actually doing it. And they could be. That's what you chose to do. That's what you chose to teach them. I was never taught to bully other people. I was never taught that. I was bullied. Don't get it twisted. I was bullied by a lot of peers and a lot of adults. But there's a difference between being bullied and being taught to bully. I was never taught that. It seems like all of you are just indulging this bullshit and playing it down. You know, doing awful things and then playing it down as if it's nothing. The tragedy with you is that you seem to think that getting attention and me calling out wrongdoing is the same thing. It's not the same thing. 
I'm not just giving people mindless attention for the sake of it. Again, I would have let it go if I hadn't heard a young child upstairs saying, why are you making her angry? What example are you teaching that child? And people want to come at me for a C word? Listen, people know already, if you leave me alone, I will leave you alone. You're coming at me over a C word, you are ruining, ruining these children's lives forcibly. It just goes to show. Just goes to show. And the thing is, everything about this situation, it just reveals, it just reveals everything that black people have been saying. If you're black, you can't even get away with self-defense. But if you're a white person, as long as you're attacking somebody who isn't white, you get away with fucking murder. You get away with murder. People will give you the benefit of the doubt. There is no way in hell I've had black gang stalkers. Black child gang stalkers. Some of the shit that the white gang stalkers have done, the black gang stalkers wouldn't even dream of that shit. Are you kidding me? The black gang stalkers have been dragged by me same way for less than that behavior. You want to go out here, ruin these children's lives. And you want everybody to feel sorry for you, your poor, poor little victims. I don't know what you're laughing at. Because at the end... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're laughing at. Let me just breathe. Let me just breathe. I don't know what you're laughing at, fam. <laughs> I'm just... There is just no way. There is... <laughs> there is just no way in hell. You're ruining, you're ruining these kids' lives. These kids' lives are ruined. Fucking upended. What are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> and then on top of that, you are involved in trafficking a person. And you've got those kids right alongside you. Bro, come on. Nah, fam. Couldn't be me. That could not be me. Listen, the, the, I live in a world where people don't seem to understand the difference between a villain and somebody who just stands out. And that's just been my story from the, the time I was born. The people can't tell the difference between a villain and somebody who stands out. Or somebody who tells the truth. They can't tell the, the difference between truth and villainy. Because they like comfortable lies. And because you people give them comfortable lies... You cause a lot more destruction than, than I ever could. That's the truth. People are scared of me. Now, ironically, that means there's, there's only so much that I can get away with. I can't get away with a whole lot because people are afraid of me already. They're watching me like a hawk. If people are afraid of you and people like... You know, sometimes too much fear can be a bad thing. Because if somebody's afraid of you, it means you're always a target. It means you're showing to pe showing people that you're strong. And when you show people that you're strong, there are people who want to challenge that strength just to do it. But the tragedy about this is that these people are vulnerable. They look vulnerable. And therefore, when they do damage to other people's lives they're able to do more damage and they get more sympathy from it, which just starts to cycle over again. Like, uh, again, I almost let it go. I was almost like, I was almost like, you know what, just, just allow it. But then the, ch the child, the ch that's... <sighs> what are you teaching them? I wouldn't be laughing if I were you. Not even if I was told to do it. I'm down here doing all kinds of things with my time. Crafts, 
readings, writing, you know, what, what, you know, I even clean. I'm not even the most industrious person in the, on the planet. I'm not even the cleanest. Like you saw that fucking doom pile. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still trying to clean that up. Like I'm not even the cleanest or tidiest or healthiest person, but I at least try to do something productive with my time. That's another thing my parents taught me. Do you seriously think they were going to let me sit around tormenting people? Baby, when I was their age, I had a hoover in my hand. Are you fucking joking me? I had a hoover in my hand. I was doing chores. About, about you want to have these people fucking being little shits and being t being terrorising, you know, just terrorising everybody they can find and terrorising anybody who's different to them. Just letting them run rampant. Screaming down the place every fucking day. Don't give them nothing to do but torment other people. And try to traffic somebody into fucking psychiatric hospital. You are what you are a waste of space. And again, it's not just you. It's not just the adults up there. It's also anybody in this community, whoever, whoever fucking believed in their ass, they're a waste of space too. Because god damn, man. Do you remember when I said my fellow TIs that gang stalkers often make the world worse? This is just the start of it. This is just the start of it. I haven't even talked about everything. I haven't even talked about everything. I swear I almost let it go. I swear I almost let it go. And, you know, and these people constantly go on about, oh, I'm tired of being, you know, the bad one all the time. Well, stop acting, fucking acting like a cunt. And you, you won't be the bad one all the time. It's very simple. It's not hard. Treat people kindly. They'll treat you kindly. It's not hard. It's not difficult. Leave people alone. They'll leave you alone. Or you can continue ruining your community and ruining children's lives while you make up your mind. Anyway, I've got to go. I'm going to link the previous video to this one. Because uh, the previous video is way more informative. It's, you know, got a lot of interesting tidbits in there. So I'm going to link the previous video to this one. But me and my crease top are going to bid you good afternoon. And, <laughs> and I hope you, my fellow TRs, have a wonderful day. Once again, comment and tell me how you guys are doing. Um, we'll talk soon. Take care. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.